Happy Monday, YouTube. This is Jaime Castro, Jaime Castro Digital Images. And I got a package here today from Amazon. So I figured I'd do an unboxing because it is a photography video project. As I travel my adventures down making videos for the community, um, I purchased this little item and hopefully it's useful in my endeavors and hopefully yours as well too, if, if I like it, I guess. <laughs> So what I purchased was the newer F100 7 inch 4K uh, monitor. So this is something you put on top of a camera uh, and you can see your playback. So hopefully, you know, I don't look, I, I try to be a little more cool on camera as I make more videos. So, so here a uh, package came today, um, came in a pretty uh, little bag from the company. So far so good so let's go ahead and open it so LCD field monitor Made in China, of course. So more plastic here to and remember, be green, recycle. So far, it looks sealed, so that's a good sign that it's new. Just putting the tape tabs. Again, yeah, that's the field model right there. All right. So here we have the unit. Cardboard. Customer service, which is always good. Instruction manual. This, I believe, is a hood. It looks like cables, cables, uh, mount, silicon. I collect these, by the way. You never know when you're going to drop your iPhone on water, so it always helps. And I think this is probably part of the hook, I'm going to guess. This stuff to the side. So, so here is the mount. Oh, metal, good. Okay. So this is, I believe, is an HDMI cable. That's what it is. So I'll have to see what type of HDMI this is, but it's, it's probably a 4K rated one. Okay, here, looks like there's another HDMI cable. It looks like there's a mount in here. Let's open this up here. Yeah, you have your RGB. I don't know who uses this anymore. This is kind of obsolete, but. So yeah, it looks like this is another type of HCMI cable. 
So I'll put these to the side. Let's see what else we got in here. So this is probably part of of the bracket. I think this is a hood. Well, that's a plastic in this one, so. Yep, that's what it looks like. It'll probably be when you're outside. All right, so let's put all this to the side here. That's all your peripherals. So here is the actual unit. Oh, looks pretty good. Hopefully that's just the protector. Comes with a protective screen. Yeah, it did. Wasn't scratched. Okay. So this, I assume, goes in here. And it does come with a hot shoe, so that's good. So that goes on top of your camera. So one thing, one negative thing I just see right now is this unit does not come with a battery. So that's already one strike against this, this purchase here. So I'm going to have to see what kind of battery this thing uses in order to see if this thing works. And it looks like, oh, that's just plastic scuffing, so that's fine. That's from the, the little paper. So yeah, sorry I can't turn it on for you guys. I'll probably do a demonstration after I get a battery, but um, stay tuned. All right, YouTube, I am back. So after some research, I have found out that this can take a 12 volt adapter here on the side. It does not come with a battery, but you could take a 12 volt. So I do have a 12 volt universal adapter here. So let's see if I get some power. And yeah, I got some power. So it looks like it's on here. Let's see what we get. Ooh, fancy. All right. So you can go between AV mode, HDMI mode. Let's go to the menu. So picture mode, English. Let's see. And here, let's see what functions we have. I'll stick with standard for right now. So color temperature, this is kind of cold, so you can actually change that. So let's keep that at 65, that's fine. So let's see what else we got here. English, yes. And a marker. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right. So it looks like this is going to, this should work fine. So let's see if this will attach to the camera fine. Let me grab my camera. So here's kind of like the setup that I have here. 
So I took the HDMI cable and I just connected it to my camera. And then I'm still using the AC adapter. I just ordered a battery, so that should be coming later this week. But right now, that's the display that I have. I mean, it, it really loaded up pretty quickly. So what's cool, I don't know if everyone can see that, it, it tells me my camera settings right off the bat. That's, that is very, very helpful. So it, it's actually linked to the display on my, on my camera. So I think if I had, I can actually use the Play Memories app on this thing. And I actually can change it on the fly with my phone if I have this synced up with my phone. That's a, probably another test I'm going to have to do to see if that works. But now I can actually see what, what's playing back. So I can actually be in frame now. So my glasses off a little bit. So. So here's like the back of the display here. Let me see what kind of functions we have here. So that's kind of cool. It has a little center marker indication. Oh, it's got a little aspect ratio. So that, that's actually kind of cool as well too. Ooh, it's got... An RGB black and white mode. All right. Focus. So this is the focus assist. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so this this determines if I'm in focus or not. So I'd probably leave that on. Very cool. Now, what I'm wondering is if there is a, I'm going to have to do some research if there is a remote for this that I can do something handheld. That would be ideal. I will look into that as well, too. But it looks like my, U, my YouTube video format is, is starting to come together. So I'll have my phone here with my road mic and two, two, two lights mounted here. But... This is the main product. So overall, I already like this thing. The only real drawback that my it's keeping me from giving it five stars so far is it doesn't come with a battery. So that's extra. Probably I think I just paid uh, twenty two dollars for two batteries and a charger. So I mean that's not too bad, but still, you know, I wish it would have at least come with maybe not the charger, but at least come with one battery. That would have been a lot better. But overall, I'm definitely going to like it. It's definitely going to be useful, more efficient when shooting videos and also for photography as well, too. Um, what I will probably do, I, I have a memory card in here right now, so I'm, I'm actually going to take a picture to see if, if I'm able to see the display. So, self-portrait. Yep. So this, are, this is already going to be helpful in photo shoots as well, too. Ignore the, ignore the ball spot, by the way. <laughs> so I, I'm already enjoying this. Uh, I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this. Definitely for photo shoots, this is, this is going to be cool because I'm able to... Um, the only thing that, that might inhibit, inhibit this is... Uh, I need to shoot for for a flash trigger, so I have to figure out if this, like I said, if there's a way to remote this where you, I don't have to. I probably I probably can because this is not a hot shoe. It's just a mount, so I can actually mount this somewhere. So I'll probably get an extra frame, an arm, and actually have it. So this is very nice. I am def I'm happy with the purchase. I definitely recommend it. Just know that you're gonna have to spend a little extra to get. Uh, batteries for this thing or if you have a universal DC adapter you can at least play with it for right now until the batteries but so I hope this was helpful um, like I said I recommend this product just know that you have to buy an extra battery All right talk to you guys later